On Monday mornings, Tom Sawyer usually felt miserable. He lay in bed thinking. He wished he was sick. Then he could stay home away from school. He investigated if he had any ailment, but found none. Tom thought he could detect some colicky symptoms, but they soon grew feeble and then died away. One of his upper front teeth was loose. He considered it lucky and was about to begin to groan when it occurred to him that Aunt Polly would pull it out and it would hurt. So he pretended that he had a sore toe. It hurt so much that he groaned loudly. But Sid was fast asleep and snored on. Tom was aggravated and said, "Sid, Sid!" as he shook him. Sid yawned, stretched, and woke up. He stared at Tom and said, "What's the matter, Tom? I must call Auntie. No, never mind. It will be over by and by. Maybe, don't call anybody." But Sid. Flew downstairs and said, "Oh, Aunt Polly, come! Tom's dying." Dying? Yes. Don't wait. Come quick. Aunt Polly fled upstairs with Sid and Mary at her heels. Her face grew white and her lips trembled. When she reached the bedside, she gasped out, "You, Tom? What's the matter with you, child?" Oh, Auntie. Uh... My sore toes mortified. The old lady sank into a chair and laughed a little, then cried a little, then did both together. She told Tom to shut up and climb out of the bed. His groans ceased and the pain vanished. Tom felt a little foolish and said, "Aunt Polly, it seemed mortified, and it hurt." So I never mind my tooth at all. What's the matter with your tooth? One of them is loose, and it aches awfully. Tom said, "Well, your tooth is loose, but you are not going to die about that." Mary, get me a silk thread and a chunk of fire out of the kitchen," said Aunt Polly. Tom said, "Oh, please, Auntie, don't pull it out. It doesn't hurt any more." I don't want to stay away from school. Oh, you don't, don't you? So all this row was because you thought you'd get to stay home from school and go up fishing. Tom, Tom, I love you so much, and you seem to try every way you can to break my old heart with your outrageousness. By this time, the dental instruments were ready. The old lady made one end of the silk thread fast to Tom's tooth with a loop and tied the other to the bedpost. Then she seized the chunk of fire and suddenly thrust it almost into the boy's face. The tooth hung dangling by the bedpost now. Tom left for school after breakfast, although he did not desire it. Nevertheless, Tom showed his tooth to his buddies in school.